All right, guys, just want to go over a, uh, a release that I've been using for a couple years now. And this is a really good release. It's a um, index style release or a wrist rocket, you might, uh, some might say, wrist strap. So I'll tell you how it works and all the little ins and outs that I'm aware of uh, in just a second. But I just want to say, yeah, for about two years, I've been using it. And it's really just performed flawlessly. I've gone back and forth between this and the True Fire um, four finger uh, thumb button. I don't have it right now. It's it's in um, storage, but uh, that that was doing pretty well. But I just feel like, especially if you're pulling heavy poundage kind of bows, you want something that straps around your wrist just for that extra uh, security. And I also feel that. If it straps around your wrist, you have a little more leverage to pull harder uh, through your draw cycle, which gives you a little, just that much more power, that much more of an edge in completing um, uh, fast and efficient uh, draw cycle for your bow. Whereas when I was using the thumb button style, I've never tried to hinge, but that's even from the looks of it, it seems a little bit more complicated than a thumb button. And the thumb button style, you know, after shooting heavy poundage, because uh, both my bows, my light bow is 90 pounds, my heavy bow is over 100 pounds. So when you're shooting reps out of uh, a bow like that, it's just, um, it really wears on your, your hands. Pulling that, your fingers can get fatigued, your knuckles can get fatigued. Um, this around your wrists, you have a lot more endurance, a lot more, um, uh, you just don't fatigue as easily. So I recommend a uh, wrist strap. It doesn't have to be the Spot Hog Wise Guy, but I re recommend a wrist strap. Uh, for heavy poundage uh, bows. So this is a Spot Hog Wise Guy. It's the Keep Hammering. See that? Keep Hammering. That's the Kim Haynes edition of this. Kim Haynes, famous bow hunter, uh, <clears throat> marathon runner. He came out with this particular uh, uh, version of the Spot Hog Wise Guy, which is a strap with a boa. You can see that boa. And this is quite nifty. Um, I'll show you that in a second here. You just put your wrist through there like that and you push that boa button down and you turn the knob and these are wires laced, with, laced in a uh, plastic for protection, I think. And it just cinches up as tight as you need. So if you have a bigger wrist or a smaller wrist, you can adjust that accordingly. And it really fits. I mean, I can get that pretty snug here. And really crank that down and man that is on there good it's not moving and with the index style release you can usually flip that uh, wrist rocket um, the wrist rocket uh, trigger mechanism down so it's out of your way and then with this one it's loose enough to where you can just flick your wrist and it goes back and forth so if I need a shot real quick I can just just there it is boom there it is you know so that's a really cool feature. I'm super impressed with the uh, Keep Hammering Edition with the BOA. Um, I haven't found a better wrist, uh, wrist release. Um, besides this, granted, I've only tried a handful, but from what I, from the research I've done on other uh, wrist releases, this is the one to beat. So, if you're looking for a new wrist release, I do recommend the Keep Hammering Cam Haynes Edition Spot Hog Wise Guy BOA Strap. Along with that, it's got an Allen screw here where you can adjust the length of the uh, trigger bar. And preferably you want it as short as possible. This one comes down pretty short here. Uh, and that's to maximize uh, or to minimize um, <coughs> uh, trigger punching or trigger anxiety. So that when it's back full draw, your, your finger is not at the most sensitive point having that trigger uh, the trigger mechanism all the way out here where you're just ready to tap that because your bow can flinch from the time your fingers up to when it slaps the trigger so what you want to do is have that as close to the bottom of your finger as possible where it's not as sensitive you can see that look how far it is down to the very tip uh beginning of my index finger and you want to just rest that there to where you feel it and now there's no space between my finger and when the trigger pops and you get a clean shot out of that. There's no target panic influencing the, um, the direction of your arrow. And speaking of that trigger, that trigger is hot. I mean, it doesn't take much and it, and it collapses. And you can adjust the trigger 
sensitivity with that little Allen screw right there. I have it pretty, uh, I, I have it turned down a little bit because shooting 100 pounds, 90 pounds is just, I don't know, just not comfortable with it being too hot. But it's still super nice, clicks really clean. The hook is a little less hooky. It's not so, such a groove like some of those hook, rele hook style releases, they really have a tight groove, it's like a C. This is more of like, a, I don't know, it, it's not as, t as um, extreme. And I feel like it's easier to hook on because of that. So really impressed with it. I do also like the width of the bar here. My old wrist strap release, it was so thin, it was hard to get a good pinch grip when you're pulling. You want a nice pinch grip. And the wider that is, the easier it is to get a good grip on that as you're pulling through your draw cycle. So I do have to say this is by far my favorite release so far. Uh, it's won me over to the index style. I used to be a thumb button guy, but with thumb button, there's just too many variables. You can punch. If it's sensitive, if it's not, um, if the sensitivity is too high, as you're pulling back, your fingers can sometimes activate the trigger mechanism, not from the thumb, but from the compartment that attaches to the thumb. And you can, if you're pulling too tight on the squeeze it, it, and it's too sensitive, it can go off prematurely, which is never good. Uh, I can imagine it'd be a good thing in a hunting situation. So I'm gonna shoot a few arrows with this and just kind of show you how how uh, just fluid and um, simple and clean this release uh, is, especially pulling back, uh, you know, a heavy poundage bow. All right, so uh, let's take a few shots here. Again, this is 90 pounds. 29 and a half inch draw, I believe. And you can feel that, that trigger click. It's just so clean. All right, let's let it rip. <clears throat> Finger up, <clears throat> pulling down, creeping up. I want to make sure that end of my index or the beginning of my index finger is resting on that. And then slowly squeeze. Boom. Not bad, not bad. Let's try another one. Oh yeah, you'll notice after every shot, I'm, I'm flipping my release back in. I'll shoot and then I push and curl in so that's out of the way when I get my next arrow. And then once I knock my arrow like such, I just flick it out, ready for action. Oof, almost Robin Hooded that one. It's close. So check out the Keep Hammering Edition Spot Hog Wise Guy Boa. Great release. Have nothing bad to say about it.